Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to your February Valentine's Day special. This will be a general reading, having a look to see who's potentially thinking about you uh, this Valentine's Day, uh, who might show up, who you might hear from. We'll have a look and see what the cards can reveal about this person, whether you're um, single searching, if this is an ex, for example, uh, there might be something here in the cards for you here, Gemini. So before I begin, I just wanted to say if you could please leave behind a like, um, a share or a subscribe, that would be very much appreciated. Um, otherwise, let's get into the reading. This reading can be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's have a look and see. It will be a five card spread. Let's have a look and see. Um, who's thinking about you? Okay, Seven of Cups could be a water sign here, Gems, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, Seven of Cups can be someone who has a bit of mixed feelings or has given you mixed signals here, Gems. So if you have previously been dealing with someone who's been a little bit unsure, a little bit unstable, um, has shown behavior that they've been somewhat overwhelmed um, or have given you mixed messages, it could be that this person uh, is still thinking about you, that you are in fact in their thoughts, perhaps amongst other people or other things, okay? Um, other factors that might be, I guess, distracting distracting them. But I definitely feel if you if this person has been emotionally a little bit all over the place with mixed messages, behavior and actions haven't matched up, um, or if this person is, uh, um, I guess, quite scattered, okay, maybe just in their general nature, it could indicate that they are, in fact, thinking about you during this time. It's almost like they could even be a daydreamer. So if this person is a bit unrealistic at times, if they're a bit of an escapist, um, if they're a little bit imaginative, quirky, creative, if they have these sorts of tendencies, they very well could be keeping you in their thoughts around this time. Okay. Okay, the magician, this is known as the Aries here. So uh, there could be an Aries person thinking about you or someone with Aries traits. Uh, it could be an entrepreneur, okay, it could be someone who's currently single, highly independent, um, it could be someone who has um, their, uh, an, an expert um, knowledge or, or specialty in something, um, but it is autonomy, okay, so it is someone who's possibly single right now, possibly someone who's even feeling a little bit lonely, um, and I say that because of the image here, you know, we can see the moon, um, the moon is looming quite large here, so I don't know if there's a Cancer here possibly thinking about you. Okay, the Magician doesn't only represent Cancer. For me, he represents the the Aries. For other people, the Gemini even. Please take, um, t uh, interpret him as you see fit. But the moon could definitely be someone under the sign of a Cancer or someone who still has an attachment to you that is thinking about you. Um, but I feel like... Uh, they're even dreaming about you. The moon is intuitive energy and we can see this the night pictured here. So I don't know if this person is having dreams or visions about you before they fall asleep or even thinking about you as they fall asleep here, Gemini. There's definitely someone who's longer, uh, who's lingering around you here or you're still lingering in their thoughts. There could be something that's incomplete with this person. Um, but look, as I said, the magician can be someone who's quite independent, quite crafty, um, is an entrepreneur. Um, is very, you know, autonomous, uh, maybe even a little bit avoidant at times. That could be coming up. Um, but it could be someone who's, the magician um, is very talented in a, in a lot of ways. Uh, sometimes he's even seen as the manipulator. So Gems, if this is someone coming up as, as who's who's said different things, okay, would I would come back to those mixed messages again. Um, I feel like that's following suit to that, okay. Uh, let's see what else comes up around this person. Okay, again, this dual energy of back and forth, mixed messages is coming up. So um, for some of you, it's someone you possibly have had two relationships or two connections with. Uh, Gemini, it could be someone foreign, okay, someone that's journeyed to your city, state, country, someone that has a foreign culture, language, influence. Maybe they have um, a lot of mixed energy again, mixed signals, um, either they're back and forth. Maybe they live between two different locations. Maybe they have two different jobs. Maybe they juggle a couple of things here. Um, or maybe they work with ships, imports, exports, finances. Maybe they have a lot in their plate. 
Um, but the notion of cycles is coming up around this person here, Gems. So I do feel like it's someone that you're destined possibly to have another relationship or connection with or that you're destined to see again. Something about a reunion potentially coming in for some of you, Gems. Um, but it could be someone you've um, been weighing up things with as well. Maybe you've been in two minds about this person and that's the influence that's coming through here. Maybe you've been a little bit back and forth. You haven't really decided. You've you've sort of, um, it's been a bit of a tennis match here, deciding if this person is a good match for you, um, if they would be good short-term, long-term compatibility. So uh, it could be that, but it could also be someone under an earth sign. Okay, so this person could be a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Uh, maybe they're well-traveled, maybe they're foreign, maybe they're an expat. Um, but there could be this this foreignness to them, um, and, and they're thinking about you during this period. Okay, the full, the full is also Aries energy here, <clears throat> um, but it is depicted by a bird here on this stump in the middle of the ocean. So. Uh, Gemini, it could be a fellow air sign. You've got the moon here. It could be a Cancer. Uh, the, the air energy would be a fellow Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, who's thinking about you. Um, the bird being a messenger here. So someone who's um, quite a good communicator or very charming with their words, very charismatic with their words. This is someone who could be a bit suave and smooth and knows the right things to say. Um, it could be someone that has given you a lot of sweet words. I don't know if their actions have necessarily lined up with those words, those intentions that they've expressed to you uh, but it could be someone like this um the bird takes flight the bird isn't always sedentary so i feel like this person could be on the move a lot there could be a little bit of instability around them as well maybe work wise maybe just emotionally personality wise maybe they take off a lot okay they take off they come back they take off it's a very unsettled or constantly on the move energy um I mean, there is water here as well, so it can definitely be a water sign. You've got the turbulent water here. So I feel like emotionally this person is going through some sort of funk or recently has been going through something quite emo emotionally tumultuous. And you might have seen that, okay? Maybe it had nothing to do with you. It was different things, um, you know, things with work, things with family, with health, okay? Might have been other things uh, that came into the picture here. Um, but the full can be someone who's um, gullible, okay, someone who's naive, it can be someone who's a bit risk-taking, uh, it can be someone who's been impulsive, maybe not as rational, doesn't think things through, okay, there's a lot of Aries energy here which would say to me that this person is quite impulsively natured, um, does things spur of the moment, makes decisions when they're in the heat of the moment, whether they're happy, sad, angry, it's very much impulsive energy around them. Um, but again, adventurism could be someone quite daring. Uh, but again, it could be that foreign link. You know, the fool is traveled. So it could be someone well traveled, someone you've met on travels. Uh, again, again, that foreign link is coming up around them. Okay, more air energy, which would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, Four of Swords can be someone who can be quite reserved. Um, it can be someone who's lost someone due to death, a friend, a family member, a pet, for instance. It can be someone who's quite spiritual or religious, someone who pray, who prays, meditates, um, someone who can be quite quiet and retreat sometimes. Uh, it can be someone interested in philosophy, history, um, and things of that nature here. Uh, with the Four of Swords, it can be someone very much in their head or someone who's psychologically thinking about a lot. Um, again, communication comes to mind here. So the fact that something's being laid to rest for some of you Geminis, you might not be actually in touch with this person. You might have ended communication. You might have blocked each other. You might have changed numbers. Uh, you might have parted ways. But the fact is that he's deep in prayer or sleep, eternal sleep. Call it what you will. The moon can be intuition. Um, and premonitions, I definitely feel like this person is, has dream has, dre has dreamt about you or is dreaming about you, which might propel them to be in two minds of whether to reach out uh, to you. Now, this won't be for all of you gems. It'll only be for some, but I feel like something about communication. So you've either tried to forget about this person, Gemini. You've filed them away in your, we're never really going to speak. 
things are inconclusive, things have been laid to rest. I don't really know what's happening with that situation. They might just resurface because they'll be thinking about you more and more um, as, as this period approaches around this Valentine's Day um, holiday. So I feel like there could be something here from uh, this person, okay? I will leave your reading at that though, Gem. So thank you again for tuning in. I do hope you have an absolutely fabulous Feb. Don't forget to leave behind a subscribe and hit the bell notification button. Um, otherwise, until next time, take care, lots of love, and bye for now.